I wanted to show you how I curate content. So I use a feed re reader called Inno Reader. So let's launch that. And I've got a bunch of RSS feeds in here. And I'm going to go pick a topic. So I'm going to choose Life Hacks. And then I'm going to scroll down to see something that looks interesting. So I kind of like this picture. Where do you work most produ produ productively? So let me click on that. And if I want to read more, I do. So I open up that site. Right away, I copy and paste the URL just for later. I may or may not need it. And then what I do is I use Evernote to clip the post. So I click on this icon right here. And it takes a minute to come up sometimes. And then I decide what notebook I'm going to put it in and I add a tag. So I'm going to choose Life Hacks. And this is the critical part. I use Zapier to automate this. So whenever Zapier sees a post in Evernote with a specific tag, it quote unquote zaps that um, article from Evernote into my WordPress blog that I've chosen. So you have to set up Zapier and I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video, but I'm just showing you my workflow. So I've typed in Life Hacks. I click Save. Now it will take some time before that zap actually occurs. Uh, Zapier doesn't look at things in real time. It, it kind of pulls things on a, on a periodic basis. I think it's every 15 minutes or 30 minutes or something like that. So I'm done with that. I can get rid of this. I can go over to my site, log in, Now just note that that post won't be here. So I'm going to open up Evernote just to show you what's going to, what happens behind the scenes. So I'm opening Evernote as well. And if you go to Slackerize and then do a sync, you're going to see that post show up almost right away. So here it is. That's the post we just looked at. Just to prove that, I'll click on the link. That's the post we just looked at. What happens behind the scenes is when that zap occurs, and it could be anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 minutes from now. I don't remember which. I always do this in the morning. So I, I, just, I, I basically save all my posts that I want to curate um, for my blog. And I do the clipping, post them to Evernote, Zap comes in later, and I look at this again tomorrow, or maybe this evening. So let's go over to my dashboard, and I've set them up so that the posts will get posted, or that the articles will get posted as drafts. So I go to All Posts, and then the these are some of the articles that I've curated over the last few days. So you notice that the one we just looked at is not here. Again, there's a time delay. So let's just pick this one, for example. So I go to, I go to edit. And now I can put in a good title. You know, I don't want to use the same title as the original title. And I don't want to use all this junk here. You know, so I basically strip all this stuff out and I get down to the meat of it. That's really kind of right here. So it may look like I'm, I'm kind of blogging in reverse um, in that I'm taking a lot of content and I'm paring it down and then I'm going to build it back up again with my own commentary. So I would take out, you know, all the stuff that doesn't make sense. And in essence, what I would do is I would just copy and paste like so and then take all the other stuff out like so and copy that back in or paste that back in and you know I might do something like make that a block quote um, you know put in, put, in, put in some intro text here 
put in a block quote, end my block quote, put some outro text here. I would also put an image here in the middle or at the top centered. And then I would go down and make sure that my title was right and I would add in a good compelling call to action type meta description because this is what's going to show up in the search engines when somebody's searching for a term that you may have written about or that you may have curated. All right. Then you, you know, do the typical stuff, you categorize it, tag it, set a featured image if your theme, you know, uses that, and then you click publish. That's it.